you, Doug. I'm Nico Horning from TPSM, Trojan Pride Sports Marketing, VP of Sports Broadcasting. Here tonight with me, I have Reed McIntosh, Keller Lee, and our president, Luke Stewart. Looking forward to some football action tonight here in Sacramento. Our sports broadcasting club conducts interviews weekly on players and coaches from different sports, from football, volleyball, to basketball, and every sport throughout the three seasons. We're looking forward to tonight's broadcast, and we'll, we'll ask Steve from Max Preps a few questions here. So, Steve, what makes Folsom number five in California? Yeah, thanks, Nico. Thanks, guys, for having me. You know, what, what makes Folsom so special is their passing attack, and the athletes that they get to come into their school is just second to none right now in the greater Sacramento area. You have Rico Flores. He's a class of 2023 athlete and when you see him play we were watching him pregame you know that kid is an athlete his hands are so smooth ball thrown to him he makes plays there's a reason in a couple games he's already got five tds and then you have walker lyons another class of 2023 tight end this kid is number seven in the state of california when it comes to top recruits he has offers from alabama you name it Walker Lions has that offer. And then I really, really like Tyler Tremaine, their, their quarterback. He's a senior. He doesn't have the the stars like the other kids that do, but man, this guy can play. And you, you know Folsom, the history of their quarterbacks, Jake Branding, Browning, Dano Graves, you name it, Folsom's had those quarterbacks. So there's a reason they're nationally ranked in the top 50 and across the country. So that's less than 1% of all schools. And they're number five in the state of California. So, fellas, we got a good game tonight. What, what, what do you think? You think Oak Ridge is, is, has a chance here, Nico? Am I going to Nico? I'm passing the mic. We'll see. So. Uh, last week, we have a different starting QB this week, um, so we'll see how that goes. His name is Maddox. Uh, he has a diff- little bit of a different play style, but uh, I think if we can pull our run game off and get the receivers catching, I think we'll be able to come close here. So set the scene here tonight for you folks. We have a uh, Folsom student section in their neon theme, and then on the o- opposing side, we have Oak Ridge Ozone traveling well on the road. They are in a whiteout theme, resembling Penn State's whiteout theme a few weeks ago in the college football scene. The sun is setting here at Folsom High School, but first I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Luke Stewart of Trojan Pride Sports Marketing from Oak Ridge. I'm the president of the club. We are the largest club on campus, comprised of 10 different teams, including sports broadcasting. And that's us here tonight. So uh, Nico Horning here is going to be calling the game alongside the color commentator, uh, Reed McIntosh. And then we have Keller Leet on stats. So we'll be going around the circumference of the field and calling the game. So Nico, I'll pass it back off to you here. Thank you, Luke. Oak Ridge sideline getting mentally prepared for their toughest game of the season. I'm going to hand it off to our color commentator, Reed McIntosh, new with us this season. So, Reed, what does it feel like to be here at a top ranked? Uh, Folsom game, big rivalry here between Folsom and Oak Ridge. It feels great. The energy is already insane here. Oak Ridge Ozone, as Luke said, traveling very well to an away game, not common to see for high school sports. Already very energized. Oak Ridge is looking good. I definitely have not counted Oak Ridge out already, even though Folsom is a very prestigious football team and is definitely the favorite for this game. Let's go, let's go. Thank you, Reed. Both captains from each team are out in center field right now. Wishing each other luck. Folsom Bulldogs are about to run out of the Bulldog. They've got cheerleaders on the sides. they got their junior Trojans. And here comes Bulldog Nation in just a couple of moments. (laughs) 
Folsom will get the first play of the game at Oak Ridge's five-yard line. A huge return on kickoff by the Bulldogs. Here we go from the 10-yard line. I got my color analyst, Reed McIntosh, here with me from Folsom High School. Here we go. It's an end-around sweep. Number, it'll be second down. Number 13 gets pushed to the sideline. Not able to do much there. Oak Ridge would have to make a big stop here to stop this push by early push by Folsom. Folsom at about the five yard line. We got a second down, one yard to go. Here's Tremaine, hands it off. And the first points of the game go to the Folsom Bulldogs. This is not a great start for Oak Ridge. Already off the long return by Folsom into the touchdown. Donovan Maxi Parker running into the end zone to give Folsom their first lead of the night. Six nothing, Bulldogs. Only took them three plays to get to the end zone. Extra point for Folsom attempted by kicker Jake Tremaine. Oh, no, they're going to fake it. He rolls out to the left. He's going to the pylon. The ball is over. Oh, but the ref says no. The ref says no. The two-point conversion is no good. They fake the extra point. The kicker dove over the pylon, but the ref said no. Interesting play early by Folsom, not going for the simple point. Instead, trying to convert for two early, assert their dominance, not able to do it. It's unlucky for them. Got very close, but the ball over the pylon. Looks like he didn't get a foot in. So an early scoring drive here for Folsom, 11.36 to go on the clock. Reese catching number 16 back to receive the ball from Folsom. Only took Folsom less than a few plays to get their first points on the board. Here from Northern California. Here we go. Folsom kicks it away. The ball is up. It'll be received by Reese Catchings right at the goal line, and it'll be a touchback. We're going to the 20-yard line for Oak Ridge's first play of the game on offense. Coming out is the new starting quarterback, Maddox Varilla. Getting his first start of the year, taking over for quarterback Drew Cowart. Maddox took over halfway through the Elk Grove game last week and came back, made the comeback, down 21-7. Oak Ridge ended up taking the lead 28-21. Elk Grove tied it back up, at, or they, they tried to tie it back up, but instead they failed the two-point conversion. They went for the win, and Oak Ridge got the W. Here's the snap. Maddox fakes the handoff, throws out number 43. A big hit from Folsom, but it will be a first down. Josh Tremaine with the tackle. First and 10 from the 32 yard line. Oak Ridge goes in formation. Catchings to Verla's left. Catchings takes the handoff. Gets a couple yards there. Swallowed by the Folsom defense. Oh, 